What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Saucy Shane, back with another episode of Saucy Sunday. Hope you all are having a great weekend. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up on your way in. Kind of recuperating from yesterday. We had a death nut challenge at Everything Spicy's. If you, if you missed it and you didn't see it, please go over to Everything Spicy's channel and uh, check it out. We had a bunch of people on panel doing the death nut. Some of us made it, some of us didn't. No, uh... No hard feelings for anybody that didn't make it. I'm telling you right now, it's a tough challenge. They're hot, hot peanuts. If you don't know anything about the Death Nut Challenge, look it up. It's the Death Nut Challenge 2.0 from Blazing Foods. We had a great time. It's a great channel. Everything's spicy. Please check them out. Today, we got a good sauce. This is, I'm a little late to the game, but uh, this is from Burns and McCoy's. This is Gold 79. I actually bought their three pack of hot sauces that they come out with. Um, sriracha scotch bonnet and a pineapple and they were running a, a special you bought those three hot sauce they threw in one for free well this was my one for free gold 79 burns and mccoy very beautiful color on this sauce hence the gold 79 79 is the number on the periodic table for the element of gold Run down it right over here. It says gold 79 is a medium heat curry forward sauce that is sure to please your palate. Fresh ingredients combined with scorpion peppers mingle with some secret spices to create a well rounded flavor profile. And that's something Burns and McCoy, they're a great hot sauce company. Every one of them I've tried, they're he's a mastermind. Come to hot sauce makers. I've had you got good hot sauce. And then you got really excellent hot sauce. He's a he's a scientist when it comes to making hot sauce. Fresh ingredients. It says gold 79 pairs with veggies, chicken, fish, steak, hummus, and so much more. Use this sauce as an application that calls for curry to take your dish to new heights. Colorado proud. I like that. Actually got right here on my table. Come with this. Get this on here. Burns and McCoy sticker. Got it up on the board there. This can come with a nice little note. Uh, so check them out, guys. I'll have the link in the description box below. Burns and McCoy. Let's run down the ingredients on this. We got fresh onion, water, vinegar, squash, potato. I'm assuming they're kind of for the thickener because everything's fresh natural we got lime juice roasted bell peppers water salt citric acid scorpion pepper mash roasted garlic salt and spices there's a special blend of spices they were talking about it does say in parentheses on the bell peppers yellow peppers they try to use as many yellow ingredients as possible give it that yellow gold hue to it Guys, like I said, I hope y'all are having a great weekend, great day today. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and ring that bell for notification. we got challenges lined up, a lot of good snack reviews, um, hot sauce reviews on Saucy Sunday. you got, of course, Snacky Snack Saturday. Um, tested out my signal yesterday, did a little live stream, found out it's working pretty good. So we're probably going to have some live streams here from the old Hacienda. Just uh, chat with some friends, burn a little bit. Uh, I like hanging out with all my friends and family here on YouTube. So, like always, we've got our Chase of Heat Mother of Pearl tasting spoon. Let's crack this bad boy open. Oh, yeah. I'm picking up the onion for sure. Look at that cumin. I'm getting those spices. The spices hit you right off the bat. A lot of fresh ingredients coming roaring out of this bottle. Oh, wow. Oh, I don't know what all I'm picking up. I'm picking up a lot of good stuff. It's got a good, good curry aroma to it. So they nailed that. Let's give this a pour. It's kind of a thicker but not too thick sauce. An excellent pour. I'm telling you, they... They got it going on at Burns and McCoy. Oh, it comes alive on that porcelain spoon. That porcelain spoon. Mother of pearl spoon. Sorry, guys. 
from Burns and McCoy. This is the Gold 79. Let's give this a try. Mmm. That onion blended with that vinegar. Picking up the lime juice. But there again, it's not a very, you know, lime juice or vinegar forward. But you're definitely, it's definitely binding it all together. Man, that's wonderful. Got a little bit of a stingy heat to it. Not too much. My tolerance is a little high. All natural, no preservatives. It says here, you can see it. Medium heat right there. I'd say it's pretty medium. Uh, I kind of got a little scorpion sting in the back of the throat going on. You got that good creaminess from the squash and the potatoes. You don't really pick up the potato. They don't really have a whole lot of taste to them. Obviously, that's why I said it's kind of used as a thickener, I would imagine. Uh, that roasted garlic comes roaring in there. The the flavors on the back end of it are fantastic. I've seen a review. Bill Moore actually reviewed this sauce four years ago. I've done some, a little bit of history on this sauce before I did my video. Johnny Scoville did it two years ago. So it's been out for a little while. So if you've had this sauce, leave a comment below in the comment section. Let me know what you thought about it. If not, check out that link in the description box below. Check out Burns & McCoy. They got a lot of good sauces. Uh, some of the hot sauce reviewers and chili heads you meet, they'll tell you that that's some of their favorite hot sauce companies is Burns & McCoy. Like I said, you got hot sauce makers and then you got hot sauce makers. This guy, he's a hot sauce maker. Definitely don't want to chug that whole bottle. That's some good good stuff and speaking of potatoes as potatoes and the ingredients we've been eating a lot of potatoes here lately uh, as part of supper cooking them um, in pans with chicken and sausage you know different kind of vegetables I will be using this on my next dinner with potatoes I feel like that's gonna really ramp it up a notch if you know what I mean um, rice I mean, it'd be good on a bed of rice, chicken. Like said the possibilities are endless with this stuff. So go check them out, guys. Get you a bottle of Gold Seventy Nine. You won't be disappointed. Check out their whole line of sauces. They got some good stuff. It like said Burns McCoy. Can't go wrong. I love you guys. I hope y'all have a safe rest of your day, night, whatever the case may be, wherever you reside at in this world. I love you so much, guys. Like I said, don't forget to smash that thumbs up. Working on a road to 1K giveaway. Got some little glass pepper pendants being made, hopefully. Got some new stickers coming. So I'm trying to work out the details on my road to 1K. I kind of want to do it before I get to 1K. Kind of that push to get me to 1K. You know what I mean? I love you guys. Y'all are tremendous family members. Tremendous supporters. I don't know what I'd do without y'all. Just help me keep going on. Stay safe out there, and until next time, stay saucy. I love y'all. Got to give y'all a heat rating. What am I thinking? Closed it out, didn't even give a heat rating. Heat rating on this, I would say somebody averagely eating sriracha, basic hot stuff, you're probably going to find this to be about a three. It's not overwhelming. It's right there on the medium heat scale. I give it a one. I got the taste of heat. Got a little stinginess on the lips. Um, of course, I chugged. Just a little bit of it. The neck of the bottle out. I give it about a 1. Flavors out the roof. On a scale of 1 to 10, I give it a 20. Flavors. Top notch. Heat. Just about anybody could enjoy this. Not even, if you don't even like hot stuff, it's not going to, just a little bit will go a long way. So guys, I love y'all. This is a proper ending for this video. I had to give a heat rating on this. I love y'all. Stay safe. And until next time. Stay saucy.